<laughs> Still representing Elephant Ward. Yeah. Say morning. <laughs> shake it up, Maraca. Shake, shake, shake. Welcome back to our channel and our journey and fight against Teddy's diagnosis of AML leukemia. After making it through the ups and downs through Chemo 1, it has given us the fire in our belly and the belief that we can do this and we will do this. So cancer, we are coming to wipe you out. You're joining us now in Teddy's recovery stage between chemo 1 and 2. This is the part we have no other plans than to keep Teddy as well as possible and playing the waiting game. Simply just a little gap to make some memories, enjoy our time away from the hospital and wait for Teddy's blood counts to recover. All in preparation for returning to Gosh to start chemo round 2. Teddy's recovery, we decided to stay up in London rather than going all the way home for various reasons. Going back home for such a short period of time, only to have to return to the reality of what we're facing, would have had a huge emotional impact. By staying in London, we remained in our own little bubble, ready to face the next part of Teddy's journey. Teddy's neutrophils took longer to recover than anticipated. This wasn't a problem, we just had to be patient. What this did mean was that we had a little bit more time for Teddy to be out of the hospital and at the flat with us, where quite frankly, he was thriving. We spent most of our time keeping him isolated at home or going out in the safety and comfort of his pram for walks around the beautiful London parks. Once his neutrophils started to rise and his immune system started flickering, we began venturing out further and creating more incredible memories. One of our first stops was the famous Hamley's toy shop, Every Child's Dream.
my plan as well is to go back to Chelsea twice a week um, and keep having these blood tests to monitor uh, his, his blood level. So as soon as they are ready and he is above that 0.75 level, we will be heading back to Gosh to start that round two of chemo and have given us more of an understanding of what uh, round two will be looking like, which is on one hand amazing, but also it started to allow us to understand the severity and intensity of this next round of chemo. Uh, one of the things that our CNS nurse has told us is that the, uh, the level of chemotherapy that he'll be getting um, can bring on severe eye infections. So one of the things we'll have to do is be giving him eye drops every hour, every two hours, sorry, for 24 hours a day for the 10 days. So all the way through the night, he's gonna have to have eye drops, wake him up, it's gonna be a nightmare. But we knew none of this was gonna be easy. Um, so all the time we have together as a free in this flat, we are cherishing with, with both hands, honestly. We are just trying to be so present with them all the time and just do all the things we can't usually do. So um, yeah, we are just praying that every day that goes past is a positive that we do have the time with him, but ideally we're here for that one reason and that one reason is to get him cured and get him better so as lovely as it is being away from the hospital we know that we need to be back in that hospital as soon as we can so yeah it's out of our hands either way but they'll just uh, let us know it's all dictated by his blood level so um, as soon as that is the number that uh, is suffice we will be heading back to continue this journey but I hope everyone's had a lovely day apologies for the lack of updates uh, yeah, tomorrow we will hit Chelsea up for some more blood tests. As the days rolled by and Teddy got stronger and stronger, his appetite grew by the day and he started to get that Teddy Bridge sparkle back in those big blue eyes again. As one night draw to a close, another morning started. We woke up in the morning and walked all the way to Chelsea and Westminster Hospital to have Teddy's blood checks again. Gosh had organised for us to have this done every three days to just monitor his bloods in waiting for his neutrophils to grow. Your blood's taken, Teddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going to the Sea Life Centre? Going to see a shark? Can you see a turtle? High five! Hey! 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 Hey!
Super Ted. As our time away from the hospital was drawing to a close, we finally got a call to say that Teddy's neutrophils were above 0.75 we were due to be admitted back to Elephant Ward the next day to progress on with our second round of chemo. Back to gosh Teddy, chemo round two. We packed up our lives again and made the trip the next morning. This brings us to the end of this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and following our journey. We are truly overwhelmed with the incredibly warm reception we have received since starting YouTube and can't thank everyone enough. In our next video, we'll be entering Elephant Ward and been shown our new room, making it feel like home, and finally starting the second round of chemotherapy. Please don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you can continue to follow our journey to save our son Super Ted's life. And remember, live for today, as tomorrow is never promised.